the Royal Navy Type 23 frigate HMS Argyle has returned home to Plymouth Devonport today after six months away at sea. Hundreds waited dockside to see the ship arrive. During her time away, she's been helping to protect some of the world's busiest trade routes. Francesca Carpenter was there to see the emotional homecoming. On the jetty at Devonport, family and friends gathered in the sunshine for their loved ones to arrive. I've missed him, like, ridiculously. Just can't wait to get him home now. It's about 12 of us all going for a big meal tomorrow night to celebrate the homecoming, yeah. And then a quiet night in a hotel. <laughs> he's the youngest one on board. Uh, he's a weapons engineer, doing very well. Uh, first journey away. It's been a long wait for the Stockley family. Baby Eloise was just four and a half months when her daddy deployed. A bit nervous, see how he's going to react with Eloise, but yeah, really excited to see him. Can't wait to get him <laughs> Finally, HMS Argyle loomed into view along the Tamar, and it wasn't long before the crew could step on British soil once again. It's been 187 days since many of these families last saw the ship, and if the smiles and cheers are anything to go by, it's been a long time coming. And how much has she changed? Uh, lots and um, loads, to be honest. Nice to be back? Yeah, really happy. <laughs> The Type 23 frigate set sail in September, working as part of a multinational force patrolling the Middle East in some of the world's most dangerous waters. As well as operations against smuggling and terrorism, she also targeted Somali pirates. The deployment came as Britain joined the US and France in sending a flotilla of warships through the sensitive Strait of Ormuz in a show of strength to Iran. We did a total of 14 transits of the Strait of Hormuz in the end, um, which is always challenging and interesting. It's a very complex, uh, narrow waterway with lots of different players involved, so that's certainly been a challenge. Now the crew will take some well-earned leave, and after spending six months apart, there's a lot of catching up to do. Francesca Carpenter, Forces News, Plymouth.